Good morning. Scrapping Lizzie here again to um, show you what I'm doing. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Um, I'm getting back into the swing of things after being out of commission for a couple days and I've been in like a black hole. I don't know if y'all ever have problems with your family. I mean, if I'm a happy person, I like to be happy. I want everybody in around me to be happy. And it just bothers me when people are not happy. And so there was a little unhappy going on in my family. And, and when something unhappy goes on in my family, I, I just go into like a black hole. I just go into like a black hole. I um I shut down completely. I shut I just shut down completely. And I don't I'm not able to talk to anybody. I'm not able to eat, which that's a good thing. Um it and I'm not able to do anything really. I'm just in a black hole. And so now things are getting better. The little bitty problem, you know, I make a mountain out of a molehill. The the little bitty problem that was in my family is now fixing itself. It's it's much better. And um and so I'm now and I always find a way that I can blame myself. And and so now now things are getting much better and I'm be, becoming a happier person again and hopefully I'll get back onto my normal routine of just being a crazy woman. That's what I want to be. I just want to be a crazy woman. I want to laugh at everything. And so um, my friend Cheryl, she's my rock. I can talk to her sometimes and she makes everything all better. Well, meh. Nah. But um, she was telling me about these snippet rolls. I said, what in the world is a snippet roll? I did not know what a snippet roll was. And so she explained to me, well, she told me a couple of different um, videos to go to to look at other people's snippet rolls. And I learned that they are awesome and that you can just put little snippets of things on snippets of fabrics so the way i started this one this is a snippet roll it's 40 inches long this one is 40 inches long you say what in the heck would you do with one of them well what i have found is that some people would maybe use a part of this maybe cut this much off and make a tag out of it or they might make a pocket in a fabric journal or any kind of a journal, like a pocket on the bottom of a page or a belly band or an embellishment on a, um, on a front of a journal. You might go with this. And this one, I have strings hanging everywhere and I haven't decided if I want to cut those threads and strings off this entire the snippet roll is put together with a thread. It's nothing is glued. Everything is stitched by hand or by machine. When I first started, I took muslin, but I had pieces like this is one piece of muslin, then I sewed another piece to it. And that's the second piece there, and then here's the third piece. And four. So there was like four pieces of muslin, but I, and they weren't e exactly even this, like this one was wider than this one. They weren't even exact. This is my very first one. And so I stitched, so then there I had a 40 inch piece of wonky muslin I just sewed together. Then I just started taking pieces of scraps of lace and fabric. This was another piece of muslin right here. 
that I just folded, pleated sort of, and just stitched that on with the machine. And this one is a gold, just a gold trim. And there's some more lace, just little pieces of lace. Even that one was kind of wide, so I just folded it in half. This is a flower I made just by layers of muslin that I had cut out of um, uh, using Sizzix die cut there. And then there was a little tassel. I put that there. Here's another piece of the muslin. I just pleated it and stitched it on. And then there's two different kinds of laces there. Then I stitched on some buttons. And here I just made a very shabby lacy flower. There I, I stitched on some more buttons. I did a lot of boro stitching on here, which is just an in and out, in and out on there. Um, more buttons. Another different piece of lace, some more of the gold. Another flower I made out of um, muslin, and then I had, like, dyed it a little bit with some inks. And stuff has been just in a box forever, and I just stuck it. Here's a piece of ribbon that had butterflies on it just a piece of sheer ribbon like organza I just stitched that on there with a sewing machine more buttons this little flower is just a little very simple muslin flower I'm going to make another one of those right now these some some little silk flowers I stitched those on that was just a little piece of um, burlap with lace I'm going to use a longer piece of that start another one of these and some more buttons and that's that's all that's on here so far and um but i want to show you i want to add there's a couple places that i want to add maybe another flower and so this one this one might be almost enough but see here i have this is this is just the muslin so what i'm going to do on this one i'm just going to cut maybe get it about and it's about three quarters of an inch wide and I this one is slitzy this is 10 inches long okay I just I just ripped that so it's about three quarters of an inch wide it's about 10 inches long and it's about you know nothing has to be perfect on this and so here I have my needle and thread and my thread that I'm using this is what I, I like to use this thread. It's actually hemp cord. This is a 10-pound um, hemp. So it's a lightweight hemp. I like using this. I've got this in many different colors. Well, five different colors. Of, and it's variegated, and I like that. And I like using this hemp cord to do this. And so what I'm going to do here now... I'm not even going to pull off those extra threads. I'm just going to leave them there. And so I'm going to take this and I'm going to just do the boro stitch along the bottom. It's just an in and out running stitch along the one edge. And I'm going to go all the way down that 10 inches. And I get kind of a long, a long um, needle. And it's got like a little extra large hole in the needle as well. But it can't be too big of a needle because then your buttons, a lot of times the holes in the buttons, you know, you want it to be able to go through the holes in the buttons. So your, your needle has to, if you're going to use hemp, you need to have a little bit of a, a larger hole, but not like a crazy, big, not crazy big like embroidery. I don't know what kind of needle this is. It's just long. Okay, now see, I went through, got that whole thing through there. Now I'm just pull that, pull that thread through. Now it's all in there. See how it's just in and out and in and out. Okay, I call that a boro stitching. I'm not sure that might be O R O. I don't know if that's right. Now I'm going to just tie that. I'm just going to tie that in a knot and tie that booger in a knot. Okay, then once it's tied in that knot, I'm just going to take that and pull it apart. Just, just put it in. I was in painting a little bit this morning. 
I'm seeing that now. Yeah, I was painting. Okay, um, and there we go. See that? It's a flower. A shabby, a shabby flower. All right, now. I'm really, I have to keep looking at my computer screen because I don't know why yesterday when I was videotaping, it would shut itself off. Okay, now, because I'm putting it on my, on here, I'm not going to take my string off because I'll, I still need my string. And I think I am going to put it right, I'm going to put it right here. Now, kind of next to this here button that's all by himself. I'm going to put that there. So I'm going to just pull that. See, I still have that that flower on the end of my string. So I'm going to, on the end of my cord. So there you go. I'm just going to stitch it through to the back of that and come back up here. And I need to have a button. And so... I love buttons, so I will dig, see, I just get my button drawer out here, and I'll just find a button, let me see, maybe this peachy colored one, yeah, and, yeah, that peachy one, put that on there, there you go, just right in the middle. Like this. Now see, my flower is covering up that other button. Sort of. Almost all the way. But it's still there, peeking. It's just peeking out. Because now, from what I watched, because I watched a lot of the, um, once I learned the word snippet roll, I just put that in the search. And I um started searching, I mean, watching videos of uh, different people doing the snippet rolls. And, um, and, and what I learned was, hey, just go for it. Just get a long strip of something and just start adding things. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding things. But, and, and you don't have to stitch them all either. You can glue. If you want to glue, just glue. But so far I haven't used any glue. But I was thinking, too, that I want to make, like, a snippet roll that is paper. I'm going to try that, too, at one time. Okay, let me see. I'll just make a little knot there on the back of that one. And there I have another flower. See, just the muslin. I like the shabbiness of the threads hanging, and I'm going to leave that there. I don't have the buttons centered in there, and that's okay. And this one here, I got the button more centered. But there was one. I know that this one here, I was making a little flower, and there was not enough lace for the flower, so it's only like a half a flower. And then I just put the, put the button on there kind of haphazardly. This one, I started making this flower out of lace that I had already gathered. And um, it was, this piece was, the, the big piece wasn't big enough, so I just snipped all the way around it so it would lay flat. And so, nothing has to be perfect on these. And, and it gives it more, you get more and more, um, you know, I think I, more and more, what was I going to say? More stuff. I don't know. More, I don't know the word. Forget it. I don't know what the word, I don't know what the word is. So I'm going to just take that off of there. I think I'm going to leave this as like it is now. This string, yeah, I'm going to take this one off. That one don't need to be on there. Okay, so I'm going to just leave this. And, and I might come back to this. I might decide, because I was wondering too, if I shouldn't take like maybe a, three inch wide piece of maybe lace and put this whole thing on a three inch wide piece of lace. But that's just in the thinking process. I may not do that. I might leave this one just like this and just start working on another one. 
But see, and then you roll it up. You roll it up. And it is just beautiful, just rolled up. Now, some people make these just as a wall hanging. Just shut it, shove it with a, shut it with a, with a pin there. Some people, I've seen one girl made this, made one, and it's about six inches wide. She made hers, and she decorated it, and it's hooked onto a spool. You can put a spool in the middle. And then it's made at, to be just a wall hanging. And that I thought was adorable too, which I might try one of those too at one time. But this is, I mean, you take all of your extras of this and that and the other. Now I took out a piece of, I have a piece of this burlap. It's actually my son's wedding. That was a couple, a few months ago. They had a lot of their decorations was burlap and lace. And it was really, really pretty. So when they took everything down after the wedding, they had like all this burlap and lace. And then they said, Mom, you think you can use this for anything? <laughs> that was a goofy question. And so this piece is about a yard long. And so, of course, I took all of their extras of burlap and lace. Now, and so now I think I want to make, I want to go ahead and make, I want to do another. I'm going to start one with this too. Now, let's see. I'll just cut this one in half-ish. So I got a piece of tape just jumped up out of my, from somewhere. Okay, it's still taping. It hasn't quit in 17 minutes. It hasn't quit. So I'm going to, I'm going to make, okay, this should be enough thread for this one. I'm going to, using this hemp cord, I'm going to go again on the edge of the piece and I'm going to just in and out, in and out, all the way across. And this one will come out a little bit bigger because the piece of muslin is a little bit wider. I like using muslin. This is a lightweight. They have different weights of muslin. This one is quite light. And um, I work better with the lightweight than I do with the heavier weights, although I do like the heavyweight too, because I like everything, especially chocolate. Okay, and so there I am almost to the end of my 10 inches, and by having a long needle, it's all on that one needle. I mean, it's all just one time. Okay, see, there you go. Now I'm going to take that, and I'm going to Tie that in a knot. And there we go. Get that tied in a knot. And there we go. There's another flower. Now, the wider the flower you get, you might not want to go any bigger than this for 10 inches but if it's wider like really big flower you'd need more than 10 inches so that it would lay flat on the outside edge but see that's the beginning of the flower right there or it can be the flower the whole thing and so now and, and you don't have to start at the beginning you can go in anywhere and so i'm gonna go in now well, right there and i'm gonna attach my flower and then I'm going to get myself, dig in my box, and I'm going to get a, there's so many pretty buttons. I just love buttons. I just love sticking my hands in them. Okay, here's, I got a lot of really old um, vintage buttons because I had at one time ordered off of eBay a can of buttons 
and it turned out to be oh the most wonderful collection and then I had a girlfriend that gave me a quart jar of buttons that was her mother's and so there was a lot of vintage in that one as well and so I have a lot of buttons and then and then buttons that I have from over the years saved which I'm almost vintage so yeah I'm vintage whatever okay and see so there's a flower already on there and so and just put a little stitch back there to hold that on now that piece is probably not long enough to do much with so I'm, I'm just going to take that extra piece and I'm just going to kind of stitch along here just to use up that thread put a little borrow stitch there we go and so then that thread is just you can't hardly see it but it's in in there so that's that's like a beginning to start this and so many things now if you have okay sometimes now for those of you awesome people that have ordered my lace which I don't have any in my store right now I have to put that I have to get it all done up okay I'm going to take this piece whenever you order my lace I always put in a little sample or just a little piece of something extra and a lot of times I'll put in a piece of gathered lace now a lot of people say they don't use gathered they just use flat this has just got a slight gather to it. And, um, oh, did I bring my needle threader out here? See, I have, I have things in different places. Oh, I'll just open another one. I always keep a couple extras of these needle threaders. This is a needle threader for a, um, let's see, it says it's a needle threader. Long eye needles. It's a needle threader for long eye needles. And um, I have to have one of those because I can't thread a needle. So. I bought one I bought I bought one like a month ago and brought it home never did get it out of the package and lost it that quickly so then I bought two more and so far I haven't lost those two okay so but yeah I but see I like these needle threaders for a long eye needle because then you can just poke that that hook part through the eye of the needle and then put your thread in the little hook on that threader and then pull it through pull it through and then it's threaded so this thing is worth its weight in gold okay now now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this piece of gathered ribbon. I have, this is not ribbon, this is lace. So only listen to half of what I say because the other half is like goofy. Okay, and we're still recording. Okay, now usually when you get a piece of gathered lace, it's got like a, uh, almost like a, um, Mm, what do you call that? That stuff on the top that you can just stick the needle all the way through. This one isn't going through too well, so I'm having to sort of in and out it a little bit. But I'm getting it right on that. Um, oh my gosh, I'm not remembering the word for calling that stuff on the top that it's 
held together with. But the do stuff, the thumbing jinky stuff. But if you have gathered lace and you look at it, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's that stuff that holds it together. That extra piece of fabric. Sometimes it's like a tool kind of stuff. And we're just going all the way through that. Oh, that arthritic thumb is acting up. Hmm. Ow. And don't poke yourself in the finger with a needle because it hurts. Okay, now... There we go. Now we go. Now it's all the way through. So again, I'm going to pull that thread through. And now see, I'm using, I'm just going to use this, this roll of, um, of hemp cord for the whole thing. So this, you know, this cord, you know, you might want to use some kind of thread that'll blend but I'm I will stick with colors that kind of go along with this cord and I've got some of this cord that is in different colors like like this one is a lot of blues and mauve kind of and then here's one that is Oh, this is a thread. This was sent to me by a, in a Happy Mail. But see how it's variegated different colors. And then this one is like red, yellow, and green. Red, gold, and green or something like that. So when I would use a different color, this is every color under the rainbow. But I will use sort of stay with those colors when I'm my buttons and things. I'll stay with those kind of colors. If you, if you understand what I mean. So that there will be a little bit of a theme, but not much. Now I want to do, I'm going to do one also in, um, in, because I love Bohemian. I, I want to do one in a Bohemian colors, like a Bohemian theme, and so it'll be Bohemian colors. And that one, I'll probably use that one thread here. That's all, all the different colors. I'll probably use that one. But anyhow, see, now look at, that's a big flower. Isn't that pretty though? And that's just pulling that lace together. So if I have sent you a piece of gathered lace, um, then you have got the makings for some very, very pretty, pretty flowers. But even if you don't have the gathered lace, like here I have some just scraps, you can just take this lace the same way and just go along the top edge. And for this width, I would use 10 or 12 inches and you can come up with a really pretty flower. So... So yes, and so then I would pick a spot on here and I would go ahead and then I will just get that started on there. Put that right in there like this. And, and then I would, let's find another little button in my button box. Let's put this pink one on there. Oh, that button says Hello Kitty on it. That's a Hello Kitty button. Okay, and just stitch that on there. And this is a really fun something to do. Like if you're sitting down watching a movie at in my, in my sewing room, I've got an easy chair in there. And sometimes I just need to lock myself in there. Maybe that's my black hole. That's where I've spent the last few days. But, um, and, and if you're just sitting in your easy chair and you have just some things around you to work with, this is fun. This is very fun. It's very relaxing. Okay, see, so there I have now. Now I have got some, oh my goodness, now I have a couple of things on here already. 
and I will go along the whole thing and I will continue. It will be an ongoing process. I mean, it'll take some time, but see, there I have two, two flowers on there already. I have this here lace. This is, a, I don't even know what they call it, but I've had it for so long. And I've used it on a couple of things, but it is very vintage looking. It almost looks like it's been tatted. And I sent a couple pieces of that kind of lace off too as little extras and orders. And, but again, this one, this one makes a very um, shabby looking because it's some kind of cotton. It's cotton, but it's like a heavy stitch and it's a heavy lace. And, but it makes really pretty flowers too. Again, just take that thread and just go through. Take your needle and just go through the top of the lace. See, this is this is a gathered lace here. So now a gathered lace, you don't have to have as much of length as you do if you were making flat. If you have flat ribbon, if you're using flat lace or flat fabric, whatever you're using for your flower. Just um, if it's flat, you need a more of a length than if you're using gathered. If it's gathered, you need less because you got more of the outside that'll go around. Okay, so I'm take that now. I got that all the way through there, so I'm just gonna tie that in a knot. And and I you I would use. Like you don't have to use a hemp cord, but I would use like a button thread or a quilting thread, something that is a little heavier than your regular sewing thread because you might go to tie just regular sewing thread and it may break, you know. So if you use a little, something a little bit heavier. Now this one, I think I had a little bit, too much lace maybe which that's okay too it just makes more of a bulky flower and then once you get that tied then just separate it out I mean just kind of flatten it out a little bit actually that's very pretty and then I'll go down here on this and maybe I'll put this one right here I think that's a good place to put that one right there And then I'll put a button in the middle of that one because I do like buttons. You know what? That's, I could probably do that too. Um, I have that silk flower in there. Ooh, that's pretty. So I'm going to... So silk flowers, you could put those on here. If you... I mean, then you can layer. You can layer things. Just okay. Must have see it now. I went for thirty-four minutes and it hasn't shut off. So I may be thinking that yesterday when I was having the problem. If you watched my video, two videos yesterday of my Happy Meal, you'll see where I it just cut off. But, you know, I might have hit something because I think if I hit the um, the key at the bottom, the thing, that long thing that makes the space, space bar, I think that actually shuts it down. And I may have done that by throwing things around. There we go. Now, see, I have... three on there now. 
three flowers so far on this. But now I'll put different things on here. I'll put little pieces of I'll I'll put little pieces of lace. Maybe I'll make you know how you can just take the fabric and fold it into like the um pleats like this. You know, put a piece of that on there, maybe, and then put a flower on it. Or you might want to just put some beads on there. But the farther, the more you, you know, just you just keep going. You just keep going. And um, you just keep going. And like I say, it's very calming. It's very, because there's no exact, like this flower I made big, it's bigger than the width. This one is smaller than the width. This one's about the same as the width. I don't have the, they don't have to be exactly centered either. And, um, but I think this one having the burlap on the back, most of the burlap will probably get covered up with different pieces of, of lace and ribbons or whatever I put on there. Because so, I will just, and, and just, you know, put them on whatever. You can sew them on with a sewing machine. You can sew them on by hand or you can hot glue or glue them with fabric tack or something and and you can come up with it and then once you have this all done for one thing it's just pretty to look at like that but then you can start taking like a piece like this much to make a pocket or a tag or anything you wrap a whole gift with this so pretty okay that's what i wanted to show you today i wanted to show you my newfound adventure is my um what i call it snippet roll that's my new file and if you put snippet rolls into the search into um while you're on in in looking in the youtubes put snippet rolls you can come up with a lot of different crafters that have done snippet rolls and apparently it's something that's been done for ages but i just learned about them but you know what you don't throw anything away with these i mean the little tiniest bit like here's a little leaf a little flower petal one flower petal wouldn't that look pretty just right under there in fact i think i'll put that there and so Every item, every little thing can be sewed on. A button here, a bead there, a little tiny scrap of fabric here and there. Just so much that you can just add to this snippet roll. And then it is, like I say, just by itself it's beautiful. And, um, and by itself it's beautiful, but to have it on hand to make your little pockets or tags or anything you know embellishments small pieces just to make an embellishment for a page you just snip it off of there just snip it right off of there and so that's what i that's what i wanted to tell you and i didn't give you any wisdom yesterday when i made those two videos because my life was my computer and me we get along well together if i'm in a grumpy mood my computer's in a grumpy mood. So, and I don't think I even read to myself any wisdom yesterday. I don't think I gave myself anything. But it'll get better. It'll get better. Okay. I needed the wisdom. Okay. I am worth loving. At least three times a day, I stand with my arms wide open and I say, I am willing to let the love in. It is safe to let the love in. God, I just, everything, this, this, I've cried enough in the last three days. I don't need no more. I am willing to see my magnificence. If I think that I am a bad person, I get a negative feeling. However, if I change the thought, 
the feelings, the feeling disappears. This year I do the mental work for positive change. My motto this year is, I go for the joy. Life is here for me to enjoy today. As I read them three cards, I tell myself, I'm telling myself right now, I should have read them three cards yesterday. I should have. I needed. And I went all day for the last three days. I don't think I read any of these. I don't think I read anything positive. Boy, what a difference. What a difference these make. Just to listen to those words. Just to read them and listen to them words. And so I'm happy to share with you today. I'm happy to get back on to the right track. And I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. And may God watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. God bless.